Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to uh, playoff basketball, or that is tournament basketball here uh, this afternoon. The uh, Upper Dauphin Trojans have traveled over here to Tri-Valley for a ball game against the Tri-Valley Bulldogs. It's the second game of the tournament. In the first game this afternoon, Halifax nipped Williams Valley by two. I think 41-39, I believe was the score, or 38, something like that. In the meantime, the uh, Trojans will go after these Bulldogs here and see if they can uh, gain the finals tomorrow evening here at Tri-Valley again. So we're going to see if we can't uh, get a good ball game going together tonight. and. Uh, see what happens. The uh, tr Trojans are being introduced out there. It's Wirt along with Bechtel, Brooke Kreiser, um, Snyder, and uh, Jen Daniels. So uh, bots not uh, starting tonight. In fact, uh, several of the uh, Lady Trojans and the starters, uh, a couple of them not starting tonight. So I'm not what, sure what's with Brandy Botts. Crystal Snyder, uh, Amy Rao, uh, not starting tonight, so uh, we'll be back with the opening tip in just a moment. Okay, we've had the national anthem, and the uh, Trojans are taking the court, and it will be um, Wirt out there along with Daniels, Snyder, Bechtel, and uh, Kreiser. Jumping center for the Tri-Valley will be that uh, tallish Wolfgang girl. She's out there along with uh, Bruzo, Miller, Block and uh, Sollenberger. So, set to go with the opening tip of the night's ball game. Control to Block. Block is their uh, ball handler on his Tri-Valley Tri ball club. Now the Trojans have seen Tri-Valley before as the Trojans defeated them a little bit ago and here's a ball and a good uh, fight for it inside there by Brooke Kreiser. She tied a Block up in there. And so, UD will inbound the ball. Anyway, the Trojans handled them uh, pretty well in the only other meeting, a non-league meeting, earlier on in the season, a couple of week or so, two ago. Here comes Amy Bechtel with it. She's double teamed, and 10 seconds will elapse as the Trojans got stuck in their own backcourt with it. So the Bulldogs putting on some tenacious uh, checking out uh, in the backcourt there. And they held the Trojans up for 10. Here comes that block out, racing down the middle, stopping, popping a four-footer up, but a foul is called. The foul will be, I think, on Crystal Snyder, and block, or rather, yeah, block will go to the, no, that's not block, wait a minute. That's uh, Sullenberger. Sullenberger will go to the line shooting two. Sullenberger hit her first uh, free throw, and that makes it a one-nothing ball game. And uh, Kelly Sullenberger looking for her second. Freebie, and it is no good. Rolls off to the left side, controlled over there by the UDA. As back with it comes Wirt. This is Sarah Wirt losing the handle on it. Rolls out of bounds over there. Sullenberger going after it, but uh, rolls loose, and UD will inbound. And back here for Wirt. Wirt will have Daniels on her left wing, and uh, Bechtel on the right side. This is Jen Daniels. On the corner for Brooke Kreiser. She dumps it inside a foul called Wolfgang will pick up the foul as she went over the top of of uh, Crystal Snyder. Full inbound for UDA. Bechtel for two, a little long. Over the far side it goes. The ball spun around inside, thrown out of there off the Wolfgang of the uh, Tri Valley. So UD will get the ball. Jen Daniels will inbound it. She does so back here, but it's tapped to sign out there by that uh, 34. Oh, wait a minute. It looked as though the other team knocked it out of there. I'm not sure how this call went. <laughs> Tri-Valley definitely knocked it out of there. They give it to them. Oh, well. Here's Sollenberger with it. She'll try to take it down into the paint. Dumps it back over here for Miller. Miller will get it back here for Block and Block with Bechtel on her right on in front here. Amy doing a good job. Now it goes over to that Sollenberger. Over to the corner goes. Brooke Kreiser gets a hand on it, knocks it loose in there. Still loose and hold everything. A foul is going to be called on uh, Brusso, I believe. I was on Nikki Brusso. She picked up her first. 
Here's a dump ahead here now for Daniels. Daniels charging now on the right side there and a blocking foul called on Sollenberger. And UD will inbound the ball. Sollenberger picks up her first. Here's Wirt winding into the corner. Dumps it inside nicely there for Snyder. She puts a shot up that wouldn't go and the rebound comes down to Miller. Miller clearing it back over here now for that uh, Sollenberger and back she comes. Sollenberger dropping it for block. Inside they go trying to hit Sollenberger on a give and go but Brooke Dreiser picks that one off and then Sollenberger tips it loose. The ball still loose out here and a foul call. The foul will be on Amy Bechtel I believe and we'll see what the call is. A foul was on Amy her first as Miller will inbound the ball. I think yep she did. And away with it, but look out, nearly stolen out there, but uh, still controlled by Sullenberger of the Bulldogs. Into the corner for Miller, dumping it inside. There's Wolfgang for two over, throws everything. Ball comes down to the Trojans, and back they come. A one nothing ball game. Sounds like a baseball score. Here's Daniels, looking for something to happen inside here. On the left baseline for Kreiser. Kreiser tries to drive it inside, but a walk will be called as Brooke got tangled up in there. Sullenberger defending on the baseline there, and Brooke walked with it. Miller will inbound it here for Sullenberger. Sullenberger coming back with it. And uh, let's see, she's going to dump it right inside there to block, block for two. It's good. So this block gets two. It's a three nothing ball game. There's a pass pushed over here now for Daniels, and Jen will. Get it all tangled up here and hold everything. They're going to call it uh, 10 seconds, I guess. As Jen got herself all tangled up here. And uh, Tri Valley will inbound. Miller for uh, Sullenberger. Sullenberger dumping it inside, but that pass knocked out of there again on a good defensive play by Brooke Kreiser. Picked up by Block for Sollenberger. Sollenberger dumps it inside there for Wolfgang. Back outside for Miller. Miller takes it down on the right baseline, pushes it inside, but a walk called first of all before she ever got the pass off, and UD will get the ball. Senior Randy Bonts into the ball game for UD. She will replace uh, Crystal Snyder. Oh, there's a reach in foul, no call. Here comes uh, Daniels with it. Jen having some trouble. Spins it ahead here now for Bechtel. They're breaking back three on one if they can do it. Here's Botts for two. She's fouled. Brandy will go to the line shooting two. Okay, Brandy will be shooting two. And her first shot is good. It's a 3-1 ball game. Be Drabovis checking into the ball game to replace uh, Sarah work for UD. And Botts will be shooting, looking for her second. And it is short. Missed the whole thing. Unlike Brandy, I think Brandy might be feeling a little ill. Maybe has a cold out there or something because she didn't start. And uh, doesn't really look too awfully peppy so far. Here comes Kreiser with it. Bounces it inside here for Bechtel. On the wing it goes. Stolen back. Here is uh, Erdman with it, who is into the ballgame now, along with Drabo Biss. Here's Brooke Kreiser. Dumps it back outside here. Now they go over there on a nice pass from Brandy Botts to Amy Bechtel for two. 3-3 three, three, tied up. Here comes Sollenberger breaking it down. On the left wing they go over there for that uh, Russo. Shot from outside by Sollenberger. Wouldn't go. Rebound comes down to Dreibobis who throws it back here. Let's see. Picked up by Wolfgang. Outside for block. Inside they go with a foul. Going to call a foul on Brooke Kreiser. Picked up her first personal. Team's uh, third. As the inbound pass comes over here to Sollenberger. She's looking for some help outside the block. 16-footer. Good. 16-footer by Block. And that's that uh, Heather Block. There's a pass a wild over here. Picked off by uh, Sollenberger. She breaks back here now and goes around in a blocking foul. Ooh. Wow, that was a tender foul. <laughs> Herdman's going to pick up the foul that time. None shooting. And uh, Bulldogs will inbound the ball. There's Miller trying to inbound the ball. Does so right underneath there. And let's see, Block has it. Dumps it back here for 
Wolfgang, but she's fouled, and Brooke Kreiser, I think, has picked up her second with 4.01 remaining here in the first period. Wolfgang going to the line to shoot two. She'll be shooting a pair. First shot, good. And here's Julie's second shot, and it is no good. Rebound comes over there and is controlled by Bechtel. Trying to fight through a bunch. The ball rolls loose, picked up over here by Brooke Kreiser. Brooke streaking down there, bumped, but pushes the shot up. No good. Rebound comes down to Miller, who'll get it back over here now for a block. And block coming back with it for the Bulldogs. Heather dumping it off there for Sollenberger. Sollenberger starts it into the paint, dumps it over in the left wing side for Bruso. She'll wind it inside, puts the shot up and in good off the glass. It's 8-6 now. The margin grows to five as uh, Erdman having some trouble with it in the backcourt. Dumps it back over there for Bechtel. She'll swing it down the right side now and a quick pass uh, across the court here. Saved from going out of bounds by Brandy Botts, but right back to the Bulldogs. And back with it comes uh, Sallenberger for Heather Block. Uh, Sallenberger with it. Nikki near wing over here and a foul called as Erdman will pick up the personal foul, she went into uh, Miller. Tara Shade and uh, Amy Rao into the ball game for UD now. Here's a dump ahead for that block gal. Into the corner she goes with it here for Brusso. And Brusso has it stripped out of her hands, gets it back. Out in front it goes. Here's a shot taken from outside, no good. Rebound comes down here and controlled to block. Sallenberger with the shot that missed. And she has the ball back again now for the uh, Tri Valley. Here's a ball nearly swiped away out there, but picked up by Sallenberger. She goes on the baseline, blocked away there, but puts the shot up anyway and almost put it in. The ball going to go off the hands of uh, Herdman as Jen Daniels will check back into the ball game to replace Tara Shade for UD. And. Morgan into the ball game for Tri Valley. But this ball is stolen away as the ball rolled loose and picked up in there by Jen Daniels. Jen looking to put a shot up, no good. Rebound over there, let's see, out of bounds it goes and Morgan picks it up for the Tri Valley Bulldogs. No, that was uh, Brusso rather. Anyway, a foul called, pushing foul on Jen Daniels. Jen picks up the personal. Be the team's. Uh, Seventh, I believe, or sixth. No, now it's the seventh. Is that one and one? Yeah, I think so. And uh, Heather Block to the line, shooting a one and one. Foul was on Jen Daniels, her first. And Heather Block puts up her first shot. Good. It's 9 3. And Heather's second shot is also good. It's a 10 3 ball game with 2.06 left here in a slow moving first period for. UD scoring only three points. A lot of four court pressure put on here as they trap these Trojans all over the place. Here comes Erdman with it. Erdman works it down here. Tries to dump it on the baseline for Botts, but a foul and a holding foul will be called as uh, Brandy had lost the handle on it, but the foul was called anyway. And UD will inbound. Foul was on Wolfgang, her second. Daniels will inbound it here for Botts. Botts drops it over here to the feet of Bechtel. Then it rolls loose and picked up. Back outside for Erdman. Here for Bechtel. Bechtel looking for two from the side. It's good. Amy Bechtel gets UD their fifth point. It's now 10-5. As racing down the right side goes that Sollenberger. Picks it up, puts it inside the block. Heather Block shot won't go. Rebound comes down to Amy Rao. We'll drop it back over there for Jen Daniels. Coming back for a UDA as the game starts to warm up. Jen looking for three from outside. Ooh, I thought it was good. Ball rolls loose in air, picked up by Tri Valley, and they dump it back here for Sollenberger. Kelly Sollenberger with it. She's going to take it inside, dumps it on the baseline over there for Morgan. She fires it off the leg of Botts out of bounds. Bixler into the ball game for UD now. Here's the ball tipped away on the inbound pass. Rao goes for it, picks it up, gives it back to Jen Daniels. UD with a chance to crawl back to within three here with a bucket. Oh, the pass over this side though is knocked out of there as uh, Kelly Sollenberger got a hand on it. Tapped it out of there and uh, Abby Dravobis will inbound for UD. 
up front here, Erdman loses the handle on it, then tripped up in there is uh, that uh, Bruso. So the Trojans got a break that time as she was heading for the bucket and tripped. Here comes Erdman, passes it up here, stolen away by Sollenberger. Sollenberger will work it inside, puts the shot up and in good. 12-5 with just 10 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Here comes Dribovis and a blocking foul called on block. Heather will pick up the foul and uh, that'll be the team's sixth, I believe, with just, um, or no, wait a minute. 36 seconds left. The clock over here is a little fouled up here. There's a couple numbers missing, and for a minute there, it looked like there's only 10 seconds left. So there's 35 seconds left. Here's the ball stolen away by Block. Or by block. Heather going to the hoop for two. It's good. Trojans having all kinds of difficulties tonight trying to get that ball up court, and now Urban will walk with it with 26 seconds left. So it's 14-5, a totally different ball club that uh, played the Bulldogs here a couple of weeks ago so far. Coach Shale going to have a good talk to him at the end of the quarter, I'm sure. Here's that Bruzo with it over in the wing. Sullenberger working it down the left side, puts the shot up short. Rebound tapped out there, though, and picked up by uh, Bruzo. Her shot wouldn't go. Return shot in there by Wolfgang wouldn't go. Another shot by Wolfgang wouldn't go. Another shot by Wolfgang won't go. Clock down to four seconds now. Three, two. Erdman's going to have to put it up. Can she get it? No. Couldn't make it. Score at the end of one period. 14-5, the Bulldogs of Tri-Valley. Okay, getting ready for the second period to get underway here now as uh, the Bulldogs inbound it. Heather Block out in front for Sullenberger. Over there for that Bruso. Bruso dumping it out in front for, Sol or for 23, Morgan. And now this is Block with it. Heather dumping it back out here for Morgan. Near wing they go for Sollenberger and now on in front again for Block. And a foul call. The foul will be on Block underneath. As she got pushing around underneath there. And uh, she got the foul away from the basketball with a push. Her second. And that puts the Trojans into the uh, bonus. I was going to send Sarah at work to the line to shoot a one and one. And her first one of the one and one is no good. Rebound comes down to Sollenberger. Sollenberger whipping up the court with it very rapidly down that left side. Now she'll pull up as the Trojan defense gets in place. Over there for Block. Block dumping it inside here. Shot taken in there by that Sollenberger is good. 16-5. Here comes Wirt, and Wirt will be turning the ball over that time. Trojans just having all kinds of trouble on their uh, own end of the court here, trying to get out of there. Here's Block. Block has some room and puts a shot up that wouldn't go. Return shot, let's see, underneath, and three seconds called as Block got all tied up inside there. She's getting frustrated. Look at her. <laughs> anyway, you get mad at somebody. Here's Wirt with it. I'm going to skip back here now and just see what kind of an offense or defense the Trojans have. Here's Brandy Botts over there for a pass on the wing for Brooke Kreiser. Brooke tries to pass it on in front, stolen away. Block picks it up in there and hold everything. She gets it back over here for Morgan. Now on the wing it goes to Brusso. Brusso puts a shot up that won't go, but a foul's called. A foul will be on Brooke Kreiser, I believe. Ricky Brusso at the line shooting a one and one as Brooke Kreiser picked up her third personal foul. First shot, good. Brooke out of the ball game as uh, Abby Dribovis checked back in, or was it Tara Shade? I missed it. Either Shade or Dribovis checked back in there for UD. And uh, Russo will look to throw her second shot in. It's 17 5. And Russo's second shot is no good. Off the fingertips of uh, Wolfgang, they say. And you deal inbound the ball. Morgan checking back in to replace uh, Heather Block. Now for the uh, Bulldogs, it's 17 to five. Here comes Wirt back, dropping it on the baseline for Botts. Botts is shot over everything and knocked out of there by UD, they say. Randy definitely not on her game tonight. Not so far anyway. Morgan inbounds it here for Sullenberger. 
She'll work it right down the middle of the court, trying to dump it over there. Brandy with a good tap, knocked it loose. Morgan picked it up. Now Sollenberger with it. Sollenberger takes it into the paint. Nine foot shot, good. 19-5, Tri-Valley. Here comes Word, has trouble with it. Picked up in there by Sollenberger. Sollenberger working it back on Botts. Puts a shot up, won't go. Brandy with a good rebound. And Brandy will dump it back over there for Sarah Wirt. Wirt coming back with it for UD. Spinning it at the timeline over there for Shade. Tara looking inside, nothing doing. Back over here for Wirt. Now Shade's got it again. Bounces it on the corner there for Bechtel. Got to get Amy into the offense. Shade with it again. Now back outside it comes here. Spinning over this way for Dribobis. Abby on a bounce pass here for Bechtel for two. Wouldn't go. Amy's got two, I think, from outside there, but that's about it. Of course, the Trojans only have five. There's a hold call on uh, UD, and somebody from Tri Valley is going to be shooting a one on one. I think it's going to be Wolfgang. I was on Abby Dribobis, her second. And uh, Julie Wolfgang at the line, shooting a one and one. Spun the first one off the rim, no good. Rebound picked up over there by Shade and drops it back here to Travobis. Abby coming back with a head of steam. Bounces it on the baseline there for Botts. Outside it comes. Here's a shot from Jen Daniels for two. It wouldn't go. Rebound, uh, let's see, picked up by Brandy Botts. Her shot good. All right, good job, Brandy. She hit a two-pointer. 19-7. Trojans finally get off that five. Man, they were stuck there for a long time. Here comes Sollenberger, working it over in the wing for Morgan. Morgan takes it inside. No, that's not Morgan, it's Brusso. Now back out here to Miller. Miller, looking for some help, has it stolen away nicely in there by Jen Daniels. Jen breaking back quickly, but uh, Bulldogs able to get back on the defense. Spinning here for Shade into the corner. Here's a shot from the two by two, yeah, for two from Bechtel. Amy got two, nice shot. It's 19-9 now. The Trojan offense starts to come alive. There's a pass over there for, oh, wait a minute. And that time, Travobis will pick up the foul, and she knew it. Travobis just picked up her third personal foul. And uh, timeout's going to be called by the Trojans with 439 remaining here. In the first half, it's 19-9, the uh, Bulldogs by 10. Brusso at the foul line now following the UD timeout. She will be shooting uh, one and one. And here is her first shot, and it is good. Here's Brusso's second shot. No good, rebound, let's see, comes over there, shot taken by Heather Stallenberger is good. It's 22 to nine now as the Bulldogs immediately come back. Quick pass ahead here now for Bechtel. She dumps it down the court here for Amy Rao. Amy, cross court over here for Erdman. Erdman looking for two from outside, it's good. So, uh, Erdman has two. Sheena popping one in from outside there. Here comes that Sollenberger. She's looking for a 12 footer, no good. Rebound on the near wing comes down to Miller. She'll dump it back to uh, Heather Sollenberger. Inside they go for Wolfgang. Her shot, no good. Rebound comes down over there, but stolen away immediately by the Bulldogs. And back out here for Sollenberger. Sollenberger, 15-footer, no good. Rebound to Wolfgang, and let's see. She'll lose it, but it's the ball lost inside there. Picked up over there by that Morgan. Now back inside, it goes out here to Miller. Miller for two, that won't go. Rebound tipped around in there, controlled by Wolfgang. Wait a minute, I think she might have walked. She did. And Wolfgang got all tangled up in there. Got a limp out of that, too. And she got really pushing around and shoving inside there, everybody. And um, blocked back into the ball game for the uh, Tri-Valley. Here comes Jen Daniels. A quick pass down the side. It goes to uh, dump underneath for Crystal Snyder. Back outside here. Shot by Erdman for too long. Rebound on the far side, controlled by Sullenberger. She'll hold it down and work it back up. Sullenberger dumping it on the wing, tipped out of there, perhaps off the fingertips of uh, Crystal Snyder. They're going to rule it, yeah. And Morgan, Emily Morgan, will inbound for Tri Valley. For the Bulldogs. Here's an inside pass picked up by Miller. Ooh, looked like a little run. Yeah, <laughs> probably not. Okay. Back outside here for Block. 
Now Sullenberger dumping it over there for a block. Block in the paint, puts the shot up, but she is grabbed and held on to by uh, Jen Daniels, and uh, Jen will pick up the foul. Heather Block at the line, shooting one in, or shooting two, and her first shot's good. This is a second shot by Block, and it is also good. It's 24-11. Pretty bots out of the ball game again. Takes a lot out of the offense for UD, that's for sure. Here's a trip. Going to be called on Block, or on uh, Sollenberger, rather. And that's going to send um, Erdman to the line to shoot a one and one. Paul was actually on Morgan, her first. And Erdman at the line shooting her first shot is good. Perfect shot by that uh, Erdman. Sheena will try to get her second one in here too. The Trojans can use all they can get. Here's Sheena's second shot. It, ooh, spun in and out, no good. Rebound came down here to Morgan. Emily tied up, gets it back over there for that Sollenberger. Four block. Heather looking for some help. Now she'll dribble it out here. Takes it down the right side and right on the baseline it goes to Wolfgang. No good, Miller pulls down that rebound. Back over there for Sullenberger. Outside for Block. Block will take it back outside now as the Trojans cut off the play. And here comes Sullenberger with it, dives in and puts a shot up and in good. But an eight footer from in the paint. 26, 12, 2, 25 remaining here in the half. Here comes Bechtel with it. Amy working on the baseline, dumps it over here for Crystal Snyder. Her shot rolls across the rim and wouldn't go down. Yeah, they're in there by Sollenberger, who whips down the left side with it. Dumping it inside for Block. Block with one dribble, puts a shot up, wouldn't go. Rebound, jumped around in there. Shot by Wolfgang, won't go. And hold everything now. A foul is going to be called on the C. Foul called on Tri-Valley. And I think Crystal Snyder is going to be shooting. Crystal will be shooting a one and one. It was on Tri-Valley's Heather block. Crystal Snyder at the line, shoot a one and one. Heather picked up her third with 2.05 left here. And uh, Crystal's shot wouldn't go in. And Sullenberger carrying it back up court for the Bulldogs. Sullenberger works it all the way down, puts a shot up no good. Rebound tipped around in there and out of bounds off Crystal Snyder, I believe. And so the uh, Bulldogs will inbound. Emily Morgan will inbound for the Tri-Valley. Over here for Miller. Dropping it back for Block. Out in front, Sollenberger. Now back to Morgan. Morgan with one dribble. Passes it right inside. A shot taken in there, but a foul is called. As Block will go to the line to shoot two, I believe. Looks like the foul was on Bixler, her first. Block will be at the line shooting two, and her first shot is no good. Minute 42 left here in the first half. As Block puts up her second shot, it's good. It's now a 27-12 ball game. Randy Botts, along with uh, Sarah Wirt, checking back into the ball game for UDA to replace uh, Bixler and um, Daniels. So Erdman is in there, along with Wirt. Erdman's inbounding it here for with Crystal Snyder dropping it back here for a work. Sarah driving it down the left wing side here now. Sarah stopping and popping, looking for two. It's good. All right, good job, Sarah Work. Getting into the offense. Here's Morgan with it. Oh, she ran with it. And Emily could not put the brakes on that time. <laughs> Walked with it. And UD with a, another chance to get a little, a little bit closer here. Sneak in, sneak up on these Bulldogs. Pass back here for Bechtel. Now Wirt. Near wing over here goes for Erdman. Now back to Wirt. Back to Erdman. They're looking to go to Brandy inside. Brandy's got it. Spins around, puts a shot up in there. Good. Good shot. Brandy Botts with one of her patented shots that time from about six or eight feet out. There's a quick pass ahead here now for Wolfgang. Wolfgang sees uh, Bruso heading for the bucket. Puts the shot up and Miss Bruso is fouled. She'll go the line shooting two. 
Nikki Brusso at the line to shoot for Tri Valley. Well, Brusso missed her first one. Nikki shot off the back of the rim, no good. Crystal Snyder had picked up her second personal on that uh, foul. Ern Brusso's second shot is no good also. So uh, here's Wolfgang, though, with a follow up shot for two. Ah, darn it. Oh, we just had Bruzo miss a couple, and Wolfgang takes the rebound and puts it in. Here comes a uh, ball spun loose in there, picked up by Brandy Botts, I think. Well, let's see, still loose as it's punted out of bounds and by uh, Bechtel eventually. Amy trying to make a save on it, kicked it right out of there. And back with it come those uh, Bulldogs. Morgan for Sollenberger. Sollenberger on the wing over here for Miller. Miller's looking for two from outside. It wouldn't go, but she gets her own rebound as she follows it up nicely. Bumps it back out here for uh, Sollenberger, who was tempted to put up a three. Decided better. Just 20 seconds remaining as they'll play now for the last shot of the period, apparently. Miller back out here now for uh, Sollenberger. Clock down at 12 seconds. On the wing for Morgan. Now they go on the left side over there for Brusso. She'll dump it back outside. Here's a three-point attempt from outside, real short. And with just three seconds remaining in the half, Sollenberger fired up a lame duck that time. <laughs> and uh, UD will have three seconds to get a shot off. Here's the pass inside, intercepted by Sollenberger. She's going to take a shot at the buzzer that wouldn't go. And the score at the end of half of the ball game is the uh, Tri-Valley Bulldogs, 29 and the UDA Trojans 16. So UD is going to have to uh, regroup over there and uh, see if we can't get back into this. Back with the second half in just a moment. Teams are back on the court getting ready for the second half of uh, action today as uh, Coach Shadel gives them those last minute instructions. See if he can't get the offense untracked here now. He trailed by uh, 14, 13. At halftime, 29-16. So the Trojans are going to have to come back and see if we can get something going here early. We're going to send out Brandy Botts uh, to begin the second half. She'll be out there with uh, Erdman, Wirt, uh, Bechtel, and um, let's see who's the other. Brooke Kreiser. And time out now momentarily here as they have the possession clock a little mixed up here and they're gonna see who gets the ball to begin the second half. They're going to give it to Tri Valley and perhaps I was right, I don't know, we'll find out in a second here. They got it separated out correctly and it looks like the uh, Trojans are gonna have the ball to begin the second half of play. Incidentally, on the TV tonight under these fluorescent lighting over here, uh, the pictures may be a little greenish. I think they get sort of greenish over here at Tri Valley, so. Bear that in mind when you're watching this uh, tape. Anyway, here's Sarah Wirt. Now let's see if UD can get the thing going. Let's see if a team has put in a different offense or whatever. Well, Brandy Botts is in there, and that'll make a heck of a difference. Brandy with a good rebound, second shot, good. All right. If Brandy plays like that, we'll be back in this ball game in no time. Here comes uh, Sollenberger with it. Sollenberger winding it down into the paint. Dropping it over in the wing over there. Shot from the side uh -oh, by uh, no, uh, Morgan wouldn't go and Botts with a rebound. And back come the Trojans. Here's Wirt. Near wing over here for Erdman. Now back to Wirt. Spinning it over there for two from the baseline or from the end line. And a rebound comes down here. Picked up by Shane Erdman. Back here for Wirt. Wirt will work it on the right baseline. Now back here for Erdman. Erdman pops one up looking for two. It's good. Shane Herman's got about six or four, something like that. A couple of good long shots. 29-20, they've cut the margin down to nine. Here's the ball stolen away. And let's see, it's gonna be Block knocking it off the hands of uh, Erdman. But boy, the Trojans with nearly a good steal that time. And uh, Emily Morgan will inbound the ball for Tri-Valley. Does so in here for Heather. Uh, or for rather Sollenberger, quick pass ahead. Now they go inside with it, back outside. Shot from the side over there, no good. Rebound comes down there and gonna be controlled by Morgan. She has trouble with it though as Bechtel steals it away. Fires it across the court over here and it's gonna go out of bounds. Off the pass, it'll remain Tri-Valley ball. Morgan will inbound the ball for the Bulldogs. 
for Sullenberger, who will drop it here for Block. Heather Block trying to get a play started out front here. Inside they go for a pass on the wing over there for Morgan. Inside for Block. Block passes it back to Morgan on the wing. And UD putting some tenacious defense in on there. Here's a shot by Wolfgang. It's good. Well, Wolfgang with a long shot. Ball tipped around here. Morgan's got it. And a foul will be called. The foul will be on uh, Wirt, I believe. On Sheena Erdman, her second. And uh, Block has it. For Sollenberger, back to Block. Across the court it comes here. Here's another shot by Wolfgang, way off the mark. Ball on the floor, picked up by Erdman. She'll spin ahead with it down the left wing side over there. As she looks to go to the hoop with it. Dumping it inside. Nice pass over there for Brooke Kreiser for two. It's good. Great pass by Sheena Erdman over there for that Brooke Kreiser. And back with it comes Sollenberger. Ahead now for Brusso. Brusso literally double dribbled. It's picked up in there by Sollenberger. Puts a shot up. No good. Rebound down here for Kreiser. And she'll dump it back here now for Wirt. Sarah Wirt coming back with it for UDA. Over in the wing it goes for Erdman. Into the corner. Now back out in front for Brooke Kreiser. Brooke is bumped. As she goes to put a shot up and picking up her third, I believe, will be Heather Block. Her fourth make it. Heather Block picks up her fourth with 522 remaining here in the third period. And that does not bode well for the Tri-Valley Bulldogs. And Heather's going to check out of the ball game, I believe, at the next buzzer. Erdman dumps it inside here for Botts and hold everything. Brandy Walk that time trying to get position. And... Uh, Block is going to leave now as uh, Miller comes back in. Megan Miller back into the ball game for Tri-Valley. Here's a bin bound pass stolen away, but picked back up over here by the Bulldogs. Quick pass across for Miller. Megan trying to work it down the right side over there. Picks up her dribble, pushes it over here now for Russo. She loses a handle on it. Back with it comes Aaron Wirt. Or not Aaron, but uh, Sarah Word, Aaron's sister. She is stopping, popping a shot up from out in front, a little bit short. Ball tipped back over here and controlled by Sollenberger. Sollenberger winding it down there with Botts on her. Sollenberger pulls up, gets it outside here for Brusso, but hold everything. A foul called first. As Brooke Kreiser will pick up her third, I believe. Brooke picked up her fourth personal foul, and she may be checking out of the ball game now as Abby Drabobis checks back in, along with uh, the Daniels, I think, came uh, in there also to replace Wirt for the Trojans. There's a ball passed back here, but gathered back in by Brusso. Into the corner she goes now. Here's uh, Sollenberger for two. It's good. Sollenberger with a 16-foot jumper. Good for two. 22-33. Ooh, here's a ball rolls loose and whoa, hold everything. A walk will be called as they're going to say that uh, Erdman walked with it before she was banged into or well, she banged into one of the uh, Bulldogs. And uh, Morgan will inbound the ball for Tri-Valley. Four minutes and 31 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Here comes Sollenberger working it down the right side. For Morgan, Emily, near wing over here. Brusso, it's got it. Nikki will go to take it inside, but then dump it back out over there for Morgan. Now back to Brusso. Brusso working it down the left wing side here. Has the ball tipped by Botts, but picked up by the Bulldogs. Over the right wing it goes for Miller. Miller pushes it inside, ball rolls loose. Coming back with it is uh, Brandy Botts. Brandy with a pass on the near wing. Now they dump it back inside and a foul will be called. Foul on Miller. Foul was on Miller, her first. Here's a shot by Bechtel, looking for two, it's good. Amy Bechtel, 14 footer from the right baseline. And back with it comes Brusso. Nikki working it down, pushing across the court there for Miller. Miller for two, it wouldn't go. Rebound controlled in there by Sollenberger. And they're going to call a foul. And I'm not sure who the foul's on, but it might be on uh, Brandy Botts. It is. Ay, 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 what a call that was. Stinking call that time. And Brandy is picking up her first. 
And uh, Coach Shadle pleased with the way things are going now as the Trojans seem to have a little bit more spark, but he's going to question that last call. Timeout called by the Bulldogs with 333 remaining, or 339. Yeah, 339 left here in the third. It's uh, a nine-point margin now for High Valley. Kelly Sallenberger is at the line shooting a one-and-one one for, uh, or shooting two, rather. And uh, here's her first shot. And it is good. Sullenberger's second shot is also good. It's 35 24 now, an 11 point margin for the Bulldogs as uh, Erdman works it down that left wing side for UDA. She's going to look for three from outside, a little bit short. Rebound comes over in the corner there and it's going to go out of bounds off the shot. Amy Bechtel trying to track that one down, but it was out of bounds off the shot, and so uh, Morgan will inbound for Sollenberger. Sollenberger picks up her dribble. She's double teamed up here. The ball comes over to Morgan and hold everything. She walks with it. Trojans with some good trapping in the forecourt that time and uh, got the turnover. Now we can just get a point. Here's Erdman. Bounces it over in the wing over there for Bechtel. Now back out for Erdman. Near side here for, well, inside the bots. Now here's Jen looking for two or three. Wouldn't go. Brandy with a big rebound inside for two. Well, there's going to be your difference in the ball game. If UD can come back, it's Brandy Botts coming back into the ball game. Here comes Bruso. Quick pass over there. Knocked out of there nicely by Shana Erdman. Come flying down there to make that block. Good job, Shana. 35-26, nine-point ball game. Emily Morgan inbounding it here for Sollenberger. Now on the wing, this is Brusso. I'm back for Morgan. She dumps it right inside there. It's tapped away, but then Morgan grabs it back again, spins it back over here for Brusso. Now to Miller out in front. Brusso with it. Now over for Miller. Brusso has it back for Sollenberger. Two and a half minutes remaining in the third. It's Morgan out in front for Sollenberger. Now on the wing. Here's a shot from the side. In and out it spins. No good. Rebound shot by Bruso is good. So Nikki Bruso that time right there to get that one and pump it back up. 27, whoops, 37, 26. Quick pass here for Jen Daniels. Jen all tangled up. Whips around the... Morgan out there, and now gives it back over here for Herdman. She's looking for three. Wee, just a little bit off. Rebound inside there for Abby Dravovis. Rolls loose, picked up by Jen Daniels. Jen starts it back inside. Looking for two. A little bit short. Rebound right there to that Sollenberger, and back she comes. Minute 42 for the, uh, or left in the uh, third period. For Miller. Miller back outside here. Sollenberger will drop it back for Morgan. Morgan for Sallenberger. 127 left for Miller. Miller tries to go with the baseline. Nothing doing there. Back outside. Morgan has it. Into the corner. Sallenberger for two. It's good. Oh, Sallenberger, Kelly Sallenberger gets two more. 39, 26. Quick pass up here. Knocked away by Wolfgang. And she'll drop it back for Sallenberger as the Pass was picked off, so the Trojans dropping back a little bit now. I've lost that intensity they had here a moment ago. Here's uh, Wolfgang for two, no good. Rebound comes down there to uh, Morgan for two. It's good. Well, now, all of a sudden, Tri Valley with that home court advantage finding the hole and uh, opening up a margin again here on the Trojan. Here's a tackle at the 55 or 45 yard line. Tackle made out there by Morgan. She picks up the foul. 39 seconds remaining as uh, Morgan picked up her second personal foul. And Wirt back into the ball game along with uh, Crystal Snyder for UD. Here's Bechtel for two. Wouldn't go. Rebound controlled over here by that Morgan gal. And let's see. She picks it up and... Oh, so the tackle made over here by Miller. <laughs> I'll tell you, this seems to be a rough ball game out here. Anyway, uh, Miller will inbound, or, uh, Morgan will inbound the ball for Tri Valley for Sullenberger. 
Schallenberger racing across the timeline now. 16 seconds left, playing for one shot. Into the corner for Miller. Schallenberger. Now Miller again. Back out for Sollenberger. Clock down to five seconds. Sollenberger, 15 foot, one go. Rebound tipped around in there, grabbed by Brandy Box. One second remaining. That did it. And at the end of three, we have a 15 point ball game now. The Trojans had climbed back to within nine, but back up to 15 it goes now as the Tri Valley Bulldogs put the pressure on them. 41 26 at the end of three. Okay, the fourth period gets underway with UD with the basketball out here for Sarah Wirt. Wirt dropping it over there for Bechtel. Now inside it goes to Botts. Near wing over here. They spin it. Erdman looking for two. Wouldn't go. Rebound underneath there. Tapped off the hands of Randy Botts and out of bounds. And uh, Bulldogs will inbound as uh, Morgan will inbound the ball for Sollenberger. Dumping it ahead for Morgan. Morgan across the court here. Tapped away but gathered back in by Bruzo. And back over here for Sollenberger and Morgan now. Sollenberger around in front has Morgan on the right wing. And deep over there is Miller. Back for Sollenberger, looping it inside there for Wolfgang. Here's Miller looking for two, that's short, and the rebound comes right back there to Crystal Snyder. We'll drop it back here for Erdman. Shana coming up court with it. And let's see, she'll have it rolled loose, but the ball comes loose, and that's Miller picking it up ahead for Sollenberger. Sollenberger can't handle it, and it's going to be a foul called. Or no, not a foul. It's just out of bounds off Amy Bechtel. And Morgan will inbound the ball for Tri-Valley. Wolfgang back here for Miller. In the corner for Morgan. Emily drops it back here now, and... They play a little bit of stall out here now as they let the time run off. 6.50 remaining in the fourth period, but the Bulldogs in no big hurry. The ball goes inside for Miller. Now over in the baseline they go with it. Shot taken over there by Bruzo is knocked aside, and back with it comes uh, Bechtel for Wirt. Inside for Crystal Snyder. Over in the wing it goes. Here's Bechtel looking for two. Ooh, wouldn't go. Rebound underneath there and a walk will be called as Crystal got the ball and then staggered back with it a little bit. And Rao will check into the ball game and timeout will be called by Tri Valley. We'll get the lineup here when we come back. It's still 41 26 with 6.22 remaining here in the fourth period. Okay, the time is uh, ready to be put back in here now as the uh, Bulldogs inbound the ball. Sollenberger up the court here now for that. Uh, Russo, uh-oh, there's a pass underneath. Knocked out of there nicely again by that Sheena Erdman, who read that play well. They were trying to get uh, Wolfgang sleeping underneath the bucket over there, and Sheena knocked it out of there. Bruso into the corner for Morgan. Now back out to Bruso, who gets it to Sol uh Sollenberger, Kelly Sollenberger, hands it to uh, Morgan. Trojans have Shade in there, Tara Shade, along with uh, Erdman, Rao, Bechtel, and Snyder. Sollenberger dumping it back here for Block. And now Sollenberger has it again. Goes on the near wing over here for Bruzo. Inside they go to Morgan. Morgan with one pump fake. Puts the shot up no good. Rebound comes down here to Crystal Snyder. Crystal will pick up the dribble. Get it over here for Amy Bechtel. And Amy has, let's see, inside they go to Rao. And she's going to have the ball tied up in there. And it comes loose. And Sollenberger comes away with it. She's bumped by Crystal Snyder. Crystal will pick up the foul. None shooting. Tri-Valley will inbound the basketball. Inbounding here will be Morgan for Sollenberger. Dumping it ahead here now for Morgan. Sollenberger with it again over in the wing for Block. Heather passes it back here for Sollenberger. Kelly will take it inside. Now they drop it there on the baseline for two by uh, Wolfgang. That was almost too easy that time as Wolfgang was Open underneath and got a good pass. Here's Erdman looking for two, wouldn't go. Rebound under there and a foul call. The foul will be on 
uh, Wolfgang, and that's going to send uh, Crystal Snyder to the line, shooting two. Botts and Kreiser back into the ball game for UDA as uh, Crystal goes for her first shot, and it wouldn't go in. Crystal Snyder's second shot coming up here. It wouldn't go either, and uh, Bechtel with a rebound for UD. Back outside here for Erdman. Erdman shot a little off to the right. Ball comes down inside there, picked up by Block. And Heather Block chucks it back over here now for that Sauenberger. Brooke Kreiser on her, but the uh, shot by Block is good. He loops up an 18-footer. Here's the ball stolen away on the inbound pass by uh, Tri-Valley. No work. Back into the ball game for UD. Four and a half minutes left in the game. This is Sarah with it. Sarah double teamed out here. And the ball comes back to Brooke. Now Sarah's got it back again. She whips it down the uh, court into the baseline for her bots. Back outside, Bechtel looking for two. It's good. Well, Amy gets two. 45 28. Tri Valley. Sallenberger dumping it for Wolfgang. Her shot wouldn't go, and a foul is going to be called on Brooke Kreiser. Brooke might have picked up their fifth. She's got a bunch, I believe. We'll see. Brooke Kreiser checks out with 4.02 remaining in the ball game, and uh, Brooke picked up her fifth personal foul, and Jen Daniels will come in to replace the Brookster as uh, Brusso goes to the line shooting two. Bruzzo made her first shot, makes it a 46-28 ball game. And Nikki looking for her second freebie. And it's no good. Rebound comes down over there to UD. Back with it comes uh, Bechtel. She'll drop it back here for uh, Wirt. Now back to Amy. Inside they go. Brandy spins around, puts a shot up. It won't go. Rebound comes down to Wolfgang, and she'll struggle it back here now for that Sullenberger for Block. Into the wing it goes, but it's going to be picked off in there by Amy Bechtel. Amy working back two on two. She'll, she'll drop it back here now for Wirt. Sarah looking for two, wouldn't go. Rebound off the fingertips of uh, Block over there, I believe. And they're going to, or off uh, Bots, rather. And Morgan to inbound it for Block. Bechtel on her. Block picks up the dribble, gets it back outside here. It's tapped away by Erdman, but it's going to stay. Tri Valley ball as Morgan will inbound. For Sallenberger. Dumping it in here, and whoa, jeez. Morgan picks it up, passes it over here for Bruso. Nikki looking for two, wouldn't go. Rebound comes down to Botts. She'll spin it back over there for Erdman. And Shayna going down the left wing. Double teamed over there, but still has control of it. Picks up the dribble now. Now she got to pass it over here for Bechtel. Bechtel looking for two. It's good. Amy throws in two more. 46 32 minutes, 52 seconds remaining in the game. Here comes Sullenberger. Sullenberger will hold it up a little bit here as they try to slow it down. Trojans won't let them do that. Now they take it inside the block. She puts a shot up and in good. Heather Block for two. Here comes that Sarah Wirt. She has the ball knocked loose, picked up in there by Erdman. Sheena whoop, tries to go over there, but uh, Bruzzo taps it out of there. Timeout called with 2.25 left here in the ball game. And... Uh, a 48-30 score, an 18-point lead for Tri-Valley. Okay, the timeout is over, and uh, with just 2 minutes 25 seconds left, the Trojans will get the ball to inbound. Drive this in there. Here is uh, Bechtel. Back outside it comes. Here's uh, Shana looking for three. Wouldn't go in, and the ball tipped loose and comes over here, and let's see. It's going to be controlled by uh, Morgan. Bouncing in here for Sallenberger. Sallenberger will wind it out in front and push it back over there for Block. Erdman on her. Now back out it goes for Sallenberger. Sallenberger will drop it back for Block. Minute 50 remaining in the game. 
Here is Sollenberger. Sollenberger takes it down and then brings it back out again. Dropping it over there for a block. Tether looking for help. Gets it back out here for Emily Morgan. And now Sollenberger has it again for Tri-Valley. For that uh, block. And now Sollenberger again as they stall for time. Here's a shot put up. Blocked away nicely by Brandy Botts. Back with it comes Tara Shade. Shade looking to go up for two, but lost a handle on it. Rolls out of bounds, but it's going to stay UD ball. Tara looked just about the time she was ready to put it up. The ball came loose and hit a bulldog and went out of bounds. Well, we got a minute 15 left here in the ball game. UD inbounding here for Pecto for two. It's good. Amy has two more. Amy's had a pretty good night from the floor. As back with it comes Sollenberger. Minute five remaining. Block, or uh, Sollenberger rather, now for Block. Back to Sollenberger. Sollenberger puts it in the corner for Bruso. Back here for Morgan. Morgan for Bruso. Nikki Bruso into the paint, dumping it on the baseline over there, shot from the side short. Rebound tipped around in there and controlled by Sollenberger, who comes back with it for Bruso. Bruso fires one up and in off the glass. 50-32. Here comes uh, Erdman with it. Sheena working it over there on uh, Sollenberger, puts it on the baseline. Uh, shot by Botts is blocked with a foul's call. Foul will be on uh, Wolfgang, and Brandy will go to the line shooting too. Here's Brandy at the line to shoot the first of her two, and it is good. Okay, and picked up her fourth personal with just 22 seconds remaining in the ball game, so no problem there. Second shot by Brandy is good. Okay, it's good to see Brandy put two in there. 50-34, 20 seconds remaining. A dump ahead here for Morgan. She will take it down the right side over there. Tomorrow afternoon now, here's a hold called and a foul on Work. Wait, tomorrow afternoon at 12.30, the Trojans will play the uh, Williams Valley Vikings right here in the consolation ball game. Here's Sollenberger. Sollenberger winding it down here now as it's picked up in there by Wirt, and they're, they're going to say that she walked with it. And there's only seven seconds remaining now, so the Bulldogs will come away with a 34-50 victory here in the first game of the tournament for the Trojans and for the Bulldogs. On the other hand, the Bulldogs will meet tomorrow night, Bulldog ladies here, Lady Bulldogs will meet tomorrow night with the Halifax Wildcats in the championship ball game for the Love 99 tournament. Here's Brandy for two. High off the glass. No good. And that ended the ball game. Final score, the Bulldogs of Tri-Valley 50 and the Upper Dolphin area Trojanettes 34. I don't know if somebody kicked the plug or what, but he certainly lost the score awful quickly. Anyway, Tri-Valley winning. And uh, see you later at the consolation ball game probably. <laughs>